Hi, welcome back. Welcome. If you're new, my name's Julie. This video is going to be about what happened in Rank Makers in March 2020, the beginning of the pandemic in North America. And it was a lot. And this, what happened during this time was enough to wake a number of people up and get them to leave rank makers and leave the multi-level marketing industry. I wish it had been for me, but I was still in for another year, just over another year. So the pandemic hits, it's March. And we are given a new set of scripts to reach out to people with called the quarantine blueprint. Also going on during this time is Black Lives Matter. So you can imagine you know, a lot of people within this group, rank makers, were all sending out messages to people. Would you be open to taking a look at my product, service, or, or opportunity business? If not, no big deal. Using this, um, this blueprint that Ray had said, this is, I mean, you got to do this. This is tweaked. This is what I would be sending out. So I'm going to show you a number of screenshots from within the 100K inner circle coaching group, which I was a part of. And I was a part of that group for about a year. And then you're also going to see what somebody had posted within Rank Makers, questioning Ray, saying that the scripts are insensitive and maybe they could be changed. And you'll see his response. And it's vicious. It's violent. Erin Bees did a great video response to this whole video. And I'm going to tag her. In the description below, I tag her in every video I make because she's a really amazing creator. As long as with um, other creators, I'm tagging below. But she did a full video on this. And if you're interested in this topic, I suggest checking out her video. Um, I was a rank maker and I was also a 100K inner circle client. So this is my perspective and um, speaking, I guess, as from being inside of this. So the first thing I'm going to show you here, this is the, this is somebody had posted this in inner circle. So this is like, we're still sending out prospecting messages. This is before this blueprint, this um, set of scripts has been released. So hi, I have been following Ray's scripts for reaching out to previous prospect and people who are out of jobs right now, servers, bartenders, flight attendants, etc. Do you recommend reaching out to people with demanding jobs at the moment, like nurses and people on the front lines? If so, how? And so there was these, these quarant this quarantine blueprint was released, prospecting strategies. So this is what we were to send out. And Ray did a number of training videos on this during the daily live video that was called the Ray Daily. And we were coached on this in the inner circle as well, the 100K inner circle. It was it was pretty much just repeated Ray's trainings. He might do another training in inner circle or his coaches would do the exact same training and then tag us in a video that he had done. It was just the same old, same old, same old. Quarantine prospecting strategy strategies. Warm, they said no. So this is this means it's your warm market, somebody who knows you, probably a friend or a family member. <laughs> somebody that um, maybe a high school friend, <laughs> an old friend from high school. So you've sent them a prospecting message in the past, but they have said no. So we're taught in rank makers to follow up until you die, to keep following up because uh, no doesn't mean no, it just means not yet. And if they don't, and if you do say no, well, you might know somebody who might be interested in getting the benefit of earning 50 extra dollars a month or growing your hair longer, or having clearer skin, or losing that extra 10 pounds and blasting that belly fat. That's what warm they said no. So this is the script that we're supposed to send out um, in 2020, during the onset of the pandemic, to people. Hey, name, I just wanted to reach out to you, you know, with what's going on, I'm super focused and productive with my home business. And listen, I know what I do isn't a fit for you, based on what you've said before, but do you know anyone who's looking to make some extra money right now? If you are, great. If not, no big deal. This is your warm market. This is a friend, somebody you know, that has said no, but you're like, I know this isn't a fit for you, but do you know anyone? We don't see this as spamming you. We thought this was, we're just doing what we're told. We think this is how you market. This is how you, I know this is how you market, right? This is network marketing. 
This is how you have sales conversations with people. So we're bugging you. We're told warm. They said no. You still reach out to them and ask them. I know it's not a fit for you right now, but do you know anyone that makes wants to make some extra money? Because that's going to hopefully, you know, spark in them. Oh, maybe. Well, you know what? I really do need to earn some extra money. This is all about manipulation. So then no problem. Do you know anyone that may want to make some extra money from home right now? It's just another um, way of phrasing it. Cold. So the cold, this is cold market. This is what I was sending out at my peak, my peak performance of 200 cold messages a day. I banged these out. I didn't, I think I did. I think I did use this script too. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're one of the people, the thousands of people that I sent these messages to, hopefully you just deleted it and maybe blocked me. Hey name, because of what's going on, I'm focused and productive in my home business. Listen, I know we don't know each other, but I see that you're a blank means like you're a realtor or you're a real estate agent or you're a veterinarian or you're a lawyer or you're uh, an esthetician. And I work with a couple of blank real estate agents, realtors. I don't know what the difference is between those two. <laughs> That's why I keep saying them. Estheticians veterinarians. You just say this. This is a script. This doesn't mean that you're actually working with them because we were also coached and believed that if anybody in the entire network marketing industry had ever had a veterinarian work as like sign up as a distributor, we could therefore use that as an example. So this is a script. This is not reality. This is just saying I work with a couple of blanks. It's an outright lie. And I'm just curious if you'd be open to taking a look at what it is I'm doing to make some extra money from home right now on social media. If you are great, if not, no big deal. And then this is what we should be marketing right now. Facebook lives and curiosity posts, something around occupation geared towards earning small income, less than $150. We were coached that that is more believable for people. If you come out with exaggerated income claims, people are going to say that's ridiculous. I can't even imagine myself making $20,000, $40,000 a month. $150 is more believable. So this is just all manipulation. So this is quarantine prospecting strategies. Okay. Now this next thing um, that I'm going to show you is what happened when en masse, like, 16,000 rank makers, however many of us are actually sending out these prospecting messages, there's thousands of us that are doing that. And many of us are sending out lots and lots and lots like me. Somebody posts this in 100K inner circle. So the people that are in the 100K inner circle are paying for additional coaching and they're paying a, a, a variety of different like coaching rates. Pretty much people would be getting uh, either like I got two phone calls or a phone call every two weeks for 30 minutes from my coach. It's like 800 US dollars a month. Some people were paying less. Some people were paying more. I don't know how they determined it. And we're given it's a separate Facebook group apart from rank makers. And there's even more live videos and more training videos. There's a library of more tasks and videos and scripts and exercises and visualizations and affirmations to do. We're really, really busy. All these people are paying a lot of money to be in this group and we're working really hard, doing a lot of activity. And if we get a customer or we get, we do recruit somebody to our diff different network marketing businesses because we're all in different network marketing companies, it's celebrated as it's that success is solely attributed to the coaching that you've received from this 100K inner circle coaching. So this is somebody that has written this, and this is June uh, the 2nd, 2020. I'm sharing this on behalf of one of my team members and fellow rank maker. She sent me this response she got from a prospect. We are using the quarantine script, but recently it feels unsettling to share. Anyone else getting these? Coaches, how would you respond? And are we changing the with everything going on message? 
I feel it needs to be worded differently because clearly what's going on in people's minds right now is not coronavirus, but Black Lives Matter. Please advise. And this is this is the um, this is the response that somebody wrote to getting one of these unwanted spammy prospecting messages from rank makers. Would you be open? If not, no big deal. This is such a beautiful response. Listen, as a female professional who works 100% from home and independently, I am a huge supporter of women making a positive impact in the business world. But exploiting your social media connections, people whom you do not even know, to get them to buy some pyramid scheme bullshit from you is disgraceful and embarrassing. Clearly, you are really hard up for money right now. Just know there's a lot of alternatives that can make you a good, honest living from home and on your schedule without preying upon soft acquaintances. This needs to stop. It's digital panhandling. MLMs always incur a sunken cost fallacy. Whether it's financial or relational, it happens. Please just be mindful. Also, what a fucking time to be sending this out. Friends and family are being beaten and gassed in the streets and you're fishing for sales. Such absurdly poor taste. This is so well written. I know if I had have received something like this while I was still in rank makers and the multi-level marketing industry, I would have thought this person is such a hater. <laughs> That's how it feels. We can't even see it, but it's everything they've said is true. And it's you can see that there's this. It's not hate. It's trying to help someone see what they're a part of. This isn't okay behavior. It's not normal. It's not okay to be trying to prey on people during the most vulnerable times. And then you can see this person is saying, I'm a huge supporter of women making a positive impact in the business world. So that was that. Was that. So then within Rank Makers... People do not want to use these scripts. We want to, um, and we're obedient little cult members because that's part of being in the group. It was such an amazing community. We think, okay, we've got to, do you see any of my Instagram stories that I post? I post a whole bunch of video or like pictures today from Rank Makers Live 2019 of a number of my friends. Some of them don't consider me a friend anymore. I still do. <laughs> I didn't post all of the photos. I got, I have even more with people, but I just blasted them out and there's good memories and these are good people. So that this is June the 3rd, 2020. Some po somebody posted this in Rank Makers and it's very clear. And this is also well-written. We all um, look up to and respect Ray. We admire the coaches. We want to support each other. We're also um, vying with each other and very like competitive at the same time supportive. It's really weird. So this is what this person wrote. I cannot believe the things I've read in this group in the past few days. No wonder we're a nation divided. So they're, they're clearly in the US. A simple group who most of the time keeps a united front can't come together to be sensitive for one day. The fact that anyone has to ask if using with everything going on right now should be changed shows. You know it's insensitive. So please tell me, why can't you think like the decent human being that we know you to be and change those words so people won't have to feel some type of way about it? Is it too much to ask you for to be for you to be sensitive to other people at a time like this? According to some of these responses I read, I guess so. And then she tagged Ray. Ray Higdon, please help out the, the people who need a script to show kindness. So this individual thought that he was going to do the decent thing and tell people, look, you don't need a script to show kindness. You show kindness, show empathy, show compassion. But what this individual got as, as a response is classic Ray, because this has nothing to do with compassion or empathy or actually helping people. This is questioning him. This is criticizing his scripts. This has nothing to do with growing your network marketing business because Rank Makers is a commercial cult. This has everything to do with growing his business and growing his brand. You continuing to purchase courses, coaching, 
memberships, recruiting people into rank makers. So this is a direct threat to him. And this is how he responds. So um, the title of today's training is Stop Seeing Your Business as Some Ugly Thing and How My Life Changed Around Sales. And so I want to give you a little bit of perspective because, you know, there was a post and I unfortunately didn't catch her name. But there he would do this all the time. I unfortunately didn't catch her name. It's quite easy to search for and it hit so many people so strongly that they left because of this response that he did. It woke them up. It also, um, people took pictures of this and even while they were still in because they were so rattled, they knew that it was wrong. This helped to create more like cracks, like starting to think and starting to wake up. So it would be very easy to see this post. He's purposely like downplaying and dismissing the author of this post. That's like, I, I don't really know where it is. It's everybody knew where it is because this was a hot topic. And this individual was questioning him and saying how insensitive it, it was. Wasn't accusing him, was looking to him for help and assistance saying like, you know, it's insensitive. Come on, if you have to ask if it's insensitive, you know it is. Ray, can you please help tell these people who need a script to show kindness? There was a post in here of someone saying that, hey, it's insensitive to be saying with what's going on, I'm focused on productive of my home business. You know it's insensitive, stop saying it, you know, that that sort of thing. And, you know, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna kick that around. Um, I can certainly I can certainly see where that could be a perspective. Um, you know, in my head, cause here, cause here's the deal, right? Um, there are, there are rights. There, there are good things that happen. There are definitely bad things that happen. And I'm not making light of, of anything. Although <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure someone will want to say that, um, you know, I'm not making light of anything, but, the problem is if you just succumb to the weapons of mass distraction. So the, keep in mind, this is the post. You know it's insensitive. Is it too much to ask for you to be sensitive to other people at a time like this? Can the can we can we just change? Can we just think, change the words so people don't have to feel a certain type of way about it? And the first thing he says is that he's going to kick it around. He can't kick anything around because <laughs> it is a personal attack that is perceived as a personal attack. And now the very first thing is like the weapons of mass distraction. What, what is going on? What is he talking about? This weapons of mass distraction. This is, he is the weapon of mass distraction right here. <laughs> doesn't make any sense because it doesn't have to. This is him gearing up and you're going to see when he like flips the switch and check out Aaron's video. She does a really good job addressing this too, but it's, this is typical, like fair for us and rank makers. We were used to him just losing it all the time, just randomly like this, but we would think it's like, wow, he's really passionate. He really cares about people in network marketing. But what he's doing, what you can see now, what I can see now, what everybody could see outside of this is that this is just about, about, about control and intimidation. And you just stop your life and just live on the, the media and live on, you know, the, the terrible things that, that are, are going on. Um, <clears throat> then uh, you're, uh, um, you're effed. <laughs> so he's mocking the person now doing this weird, like weird action. And as if you're just, you're not sure this has nothing to do with addressing what the person wrote. It's about empathy. So empathy and compassion is equated with like weapons of mass destruction, succumbing to this weird, like whatever this excuse that he's going on about. He's so mad. He can barely articulate. <laughs> he can't articulate at the best of times. My God, the definition of concise. If you look it up, his picture is not beside that word. <laughs> That's what you are. You're completely screwed. And, and so like you, 
you're completely screwed. So this is just a segment too. I should have prefaced this, this clip. It's like, this is just a clip from the training and this is what I was sent. This is what I have. And I honestly, I don't want to like react to like longer ones. I've done like longer reactions to, to Ray. And it's just, it's a lot, you know, especially those, the reality show play to win, which I'll be finishing up. We'll be starting season two of that soon. So he says, you're screwed. You're effed because you want to, because somebody is suggesting you change the language of your script that you have doled out to people. This is, he cannot be criticized. This is what happens when you question or criticize the leader of a high control group. And this is what happens every time, like clockwork with Ray. Can, <clears throat> you can get 100% of your attention stolen from the weapons of mass distraction, from the being tied up emotionally with what's going on. And I'm not. You're being tied up emotionally. You're succumbing with weapons of mass distraction. And somebody is saying, you know, that this is insensitive. You can see that there's people in this group that they just want to adhere to doing exactly what they're told and sending out these scripts. Meanwhile, people are getting responses back from people saying, this is disturbing. This is in poor taste. This is fucked up. What are you doing? And he, he's just not addressing any of that. It's not. It's your fault. You're looking at weapons of mass distraction. Stick to the script. Saying not don't be emotional because I know I know right right now every single word is is you know is being evaluated and and this is this is my point. This is a tactic because every single word is evaluated, especially when you're a high control group leader, because every single word is used for a reason. So this is one of those things where if if he says it first, then it will diffuse your critical thinking to point out like that's wrong. This makes no sense. But he he got there before you did. And somehow it makes sense. It's like, oh, yeah, well, he said that. It's like, you're right. It is an emotional thing. And it's not OK that you're dismissing it. It's it's fucked up that you're dismissing it. It's fucked up that people think that, oh, because he's said that, then I, I don't have, I'm just being too emotional. I'm just being distracted by the weapons of mass distraction, like whatever that means in this context. But he's working his way up. You'll see. Point here, okay, with um, millions, let's not, let's not forget that there were millions of jobs lost during the whole bullshit coronavirus stuff. It's like, settle down, Ray. This is what he does. He flips the switch. He did this at Rank Makers Live on stage. He'd do this during the 14-day challenge. He would do it in 100K inner circle. This is what he does. This is his coaching. This is what people consider passionate coaching that they really, like, he really cares about you. This is what people consider transformative. This is how he quells dissent, intimidation, bullying. It keeps going. Heads up. And I know, I know, I know that their people died. I know, I know, but we, I think, know that a lot of that was overhyped media. And I know, I know, I know many people that got it. All the people I personally know did overcome it, like 99% of humanity. Keep in mind, this is like, this is 2020. This is like early days. So this is probably like June 4th. I don't have the date on this, but somebody had posted in the group. This comment was posted June 3rd. So there's a really good chance this was June 4th, 2020, because this is what he does. This is when I stopped doing a daily live video every, like every day. The next day he did a live video about me in the group, but didn't mention my name. Same thing. Same thing like this individual. So this is the beginning. Like it hit March. March, April, May. This is just the beginning of June. So like not even four months in. And it's the whole bullshit. 99% of people have, have survived. 99. Funny that he used that term 99% because 99% 
is also the same figure as the loss rate across the multi-level marketing industry. <laughs> this is intense. I got it. Um, but let's not forget there are people struggling to pay their bills. Let's not forget that there are their businesses being burnt down. Let's not forget that there are people that no longer have a place to go and get a job, right? And, you know, I'm breaking this up to because it's really disturbing. I know it's triggering. And if he's questioned, then this is this is another tactic that he uses is to just get really mad and to focus on how selfish you are. There are people out there that are dying. There are people that are hurting and suffering. And how selfish are you to dare to question this script? How selfish and insensitive are you? This is your fault. You're distracted by the weapons of mass distraction. It's not about the scripts being insensitive or anybody being insensitive. It's that you don't have compassion and empathy because there are people suffering out there and I'm going to get mad and I'm going to use all my NLP and bullshit culty leader strategies that I've been like fucking nursing for years. And I'm going to do it on this live video and I'm going to shame you. I'm going to shame you so hard. Everybody knows it's you that asked this question in the group and you thought erroneously <laughs> that you were going to have support but no you were made a target because everybody that questions is made a fucking target well in this time is that the time is that the time to take your solution is that the time to take your solution and say no i'm not gonna share it with anyone no i'm not gonna tell he's like he's throwing a tantrum isn't that weird how he showed he showed his teeth it can be so he's like, this is a good example of a big fish in a little pond, a little tiny, teeny, weeny pond. Because within the confines of rank makers, he can get away with this kind of stuff because the people within rank makers were doubly indoctrinated. We already believe the multi-level marketing industry is this level playing field. It's this amazing opportunity. It doesn't matter who you are, where you've come from. If you believe you're consistent, and you work on your mindset and you help others, you will get to the top. There's room for everyone at the top. We believe this already. And then we get into rank makers and we are even more, we get even more mindset. We're purchasing more courses. We're purchasing more coaching. We're spending all of our time watching Ray's videos, Ray's coaches videos, participating in, different challenges and courses and hashtagging the Higdon group. Watching him do trainings from rank makers to a 14 day challenge group over onto Instagram and then back onto his Facebook business page. We would all troop like good little followers. A lot of us would, and a lot of people still do. And he can show up like this. And this is, con and then it would, it's so intimidating. It's so angry that people just, you just don't question. It's only once you're removed from it and, um, and you've like had some kind of healing that you can see right through this. This is, this is no more than a little man throwing a big temper tantrum because he's not getting his own way in his own group. I'm going to be insensitive. I'm going to be insensitive here. Oh, I better, I better not talk about, right? He would also describe himself. Um, one of the most recent like iterations, this is before he decided he was a prophet called by God and then going to be speaking with world leaders. Um, it was after, I think, maybe it was like right after he thought he was Joe Dispenza, the next Joe Dispenza, because he was getting coaching from him. I think it was like somewhere in that transit transitory period he was describing himself as a master of emotions. He would help you master your emotions and especially seven, eight, nine figure income figure earners, whatever. I am really good at helping people control their emotions. <laughs> Just look at him. 
the master, <laughs> master of none. And so, you know, how many white, black, Asian, uh, Hispanic, how many, how many people are out of a job, can't make money, business is burnt down, don't have nowhere to go. And so you don't like the script? Do exactly what I've always said to you, which is use what you want. If you have a way to reach out to people that's working for you, use it. So this is, you can see, this is, uh, this is his shtick. This is practiced. This is rehearsed. It's that like the whole cadence of like getting mad and then pulling back and then like, be, just do it. Just do what I've always said. This is one woman who has dared post in rank makers a very well-written and true post looking to Ray to back her up. And this was his response. This will teach, this is using her as an example and letting it be known that if you question me, this is the response you're going to get. So he comes down, like you can see, he's coming down fucking hard. And this is what you do in a high control group. This is what, it, this is all they've been. This is what he always does. I have to, um, I clicked at the beginning, so I have to find out where this Don't was. Forget that there are your businesses being burnt down. <laughs> Jesus. Calm down. Fuck. Right. Right. And, you know, in this time, is that the time? Is that the time to take your solution? Jesus. <laughs> I got to find this spot. What a, like, this is one of my regrets that I clicked back here. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like. I don't want to blame censor here. Oh, I, 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 better, I better not talk about. Right. And so, you know, how many white. That's, I'm actually glad that I kind of did go back just to see that because it's mocking the individual then to, I don't want to be insensitive, like really, really mocking the person. That's what you look like. That's what you're doing. You're just so selfish. You only care about what you, what you think and what others might judge you as like this network marketer going out there, sending a message like he's making fun of anybody that thinks that his scripts are insensitive, that it is insensitive to reach out to nurses, to frontline workers during the pandemic and using his script, especially ignoring like the protests going on with this script. When they have people receiving these messages saying, this is horrible, like, what the fuck? So him, oh, oh, this is what you look like. This is who you are if you disagree with me. And this, this is, he's doing this to paying clients. These are people that are over 99% of people are losing money. None of us have done a profit and loss statement ever. We're taught that if this coaching is an investment in our future. And we all look up to him. Some people woke up though from this. I wish I had been one of those people, <laughs> but I needed a lot more before I woke up, unfortunately. Black, Asian, uh, Hispanic, how many, how many people are out of a job, can't make money, business is burnt down, don't have nowhere to go. And so you don't like the script? Do exactly what I've always said to you, which is use what you want. It it's so stupid how he did that look around like that. <laughs> it would have been great if there was some music to that. <laughs> I almost want to turn the volume down and like, actually, you know what? Let's do that. Let's turn the volume down and find out where he does that head turn thing. It's so freaking, oh, oh, okay, this way. <laughs> okay, let's see if I got it. All right, he's not gonna, oh, you know what I should do? Okay, let's do this, let's try this. Oh, oh, it's gotta be this way. Okay, <laughs> let's see how I do. How did I do? <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Oops. Got to turn the volume back up. Okay, to reach out to people that's working for you, use it. Oh, that was it. That's the end of the clip. Okay. So this is a short video. That's what happened during 2020 in Rank Makers. It was enough for a lot of people to leave and leave multi-level marketing. Some, it was like, they finally, they had enough of Ray and um, some people like this, this was enough to just really start, I don't know, planting the seed, opening, like widening the crack. I don't know. This, this one, it didn't, I mean, I wish it had of, I wish, I wish this had of really stuck out to me. Um, it did the way he, like other things he did during this time stuck out, but I, I remember this training and I remember, I just thought like, this was just normal behavior for him. It's, I wish that it was shocking. Like it, it's as shocking to me now, looking back at it, I'm like, if anybody talks to you like this, a multi-level marketing coach, your upline, this is abuse. This isn't okay. This isn't coaching. This is somebody being threatened because he, and he's not getting his own way. Can you imagine this guy asking for the manager? <laughs> My steak isn't well done. You know, he loses shit. He has no emotional control. This isn't how you should be treated in the multi-level marketing industry. It's not how you should be treated in any relationship anywhere. And certainly not with multi-level marketing coaching. If you are in um, rank makers or you're in another multi-level marketing coaching group or, you know, a cult, we have so many similarities, our stories. And I, I want you to know, somebody had left a comment today. And I think this is a good thing is that I want to keep, I want to kind of keep adding this in maybe at the end of the videos that I do while I'm doing them is that there is the anti MLM people that have left people that are speaking out. We're here to support you with open arms. When you leave, it's, there's no hate on this side, like multi-level marketing coaches and the multi-level marketing industry wants you to believe. I believed it too until I got out and I couldn't believe how supportive everyone was. I, I still am confused. You know, sometimes I'm, how can people be so kind? They understand. I feel like I need to keep over explaining. And sometimes I think that they, they, you probably don't understand this because you were in it and people do understand because they empathize. Of course, people aren't going to fully get it if they haven't experienced exactly what you've experienced, but they, they understand so much more than I thought they would. So, I want you to know that you're welcome here. And when you get out, as you get out, there's no right way or wrong way. It's just your way. And there's so much, there's so many people here that support you and welcome you and will encourage you. You're not alone. And, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for watching. There's nothing wrong with your mindset. There never was. I'll see you in the next video.